Hey there, welcome to the Powerful Marketing Tips Podcast. We created this podcast for you, overwhelmed business owners who want to build, run, and organize their marketing for good. And here are your hosts, Marilise and Laura. Hi there, it's Laura here. Today I want to talk to you about brainstorming. If you're taking some time off this summer, then you're likely to experience the phenomenon of getting so many great ideas about your business. And on the one hand, it can be a bit frustrating if you're trying to tune out of work-related thoughts. But on the other hand, if you're getting the rest that your mind and body needs, if you're changing up your environment, and if you're doing things differently than what you normally do, then those creative ideas just come to you naturally. But sometimes when you are under pressure and have tight deadlines at work, those great ideas can be a bit hard to come by, right? So one way to wake up your brain is through brainstorming methods. And these are especially beneficial if you want to find the out of the box type of ideas or solutions to a challenge. Why does brainstorming work? Well, our brains use different regions to solve different tasks. If we switch things up from our typical day to day, then different regions of our brain will start to work. There are potentially thousands of ways to carry out a brainstorming session, but today let's focus on seven tried and tested ones that you can either do alone or with your team. First one is focusing on bad ideas. And by that, I mean impractical, stupid, and so on. This takes away the tension and fear that any idea is foolish. And this works especially well in teams, and you can ask each team member to come up with the most absurd idea that they can think of. And in the second round of brainstorming, people are already loose and willing to open up. Number two is disassembling and rebuilding ideas. This means allowing others to modify and add their own perspective to your idea. An easy way to uh, do that is to use note papers where each team member writes one idea down and then gives it to the next person to complete. Next idea is word games and word clouds. First, write down a very general idea on the paper and then add different words around the idea that pop up to your head as you think of this concept. Later, those words can be grouped by topic. Number four is making a mood board. So putting pictures, texts, quotes, and so on, on a board to convey the idea visually. And this can help you see the problem from a new angle. Number five is improvisation games. It is great to do a role-playing game with the team, going outside of the office, for example. And the purpose is to create a playful environment and relieve people from tensions. The game helps to create an environment of trust where you are more willing to come up with crazy ideas. So you can assign roles such as queen, academic, child, mom, and then ask them to answer questions through the perspective of their assigned character. The idea is that you get to see similar situations through different perspectives. Next up, we have drawing or scribbling. The brain works differently when we draw our thoughts instead of speaking or writing. For example, you could take the general theme and draw it in different parts. For example, a dog requires you to draw the paws, the tail, the ears, and so on, in order for the brain to work differently. Another good approach is to combine two completely unrelated things into one image. For example, elephant and ice cream <laughs> can give an image of an elephant who has an ice cream cone instead of their trunk. The idea is that you think of a problem in a different way by applying a different technique than the ones you are used to. And last but not the least, we have new environment. Brainstorm with the team outside of the office. Unusual environments make creativity easier because inspiration comes from the surrounding environment. You can get a very effective brainstorming out in the open air, such as at a sports game or just at, at the picnic. And there you have it. I hope these ideas inspired you. Just to recap, the ideas I mentioned were focusing on bad ideas, disassembling and rebuilding ideas, word clouds, mood boards, improvisation games, drawing, and going to a new environment. The most important thing to remember in brainstorming is that criticizing is not allowed. Make sure to be clear with what it is that you're looking to answer for, 
and what you expect from the group members, for example, their attention and active participation. I wish you good luck and happy brainstorming. That's all we've got for this episode of the Powerful Marketing Tips podcast. Make sure to link up with us at our free monthly international mastermind event. Just go to powerful-marketers.com forward slash mastermind for registration. And one thing that would really help us and other new potential listeners is if you would rate this show and leave a comment wherever you tune in to listen. Until next time, take care.